Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show, and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Roach Show. Turn up your mind. All right, everybody. Welcome to the first national Randy Roach Show on Free Speech TV. (laughs) Hello. Hello. (laughs) Oh, that's so cool. All right, so we are now on Free Speech TV. It is available on your Dish Network over there on 9415. It's also available on DirecTV, channel 348, 348, Sling TV, Roku, and uh, Apple TV. Oh! Oh! So uh, we're very excited to be part of this uh, little miracle that is Free Speech TV. It is independent media. There is no corporate money involved whatsoever. And uh, pretty soon you're going to figure out that we're going to ask you for some. (laughs) is what you're going to find out. Meantime, what a bloody freaking weekend we had. Could you believe that? I mean, must be Sunday somewhere. What's going on? What's going on? Is there fire? What is going on? Oh, Oh, they shoot it. Oh, Oh. Who shoot at a garlic festival, bro? Really? Who shoots at a garlic festival? So the answer is a white supremacist kid. That's the answer. You got a 19-year-old kid dressed in military gear, and he goes to the Gilroy Garlic Festival uh, and shoots the place up. Now, I've been there. I've actually been to the Gilroy Garlic. I know. I know. I, I sound like a New Yorker. I am a New Yorker. If you don't know me, I'm a New Yorker, and I don't try and hide it. Uh, I am broadcasting from Florida. Uh, but I actually auditioned for a job long, long time ago when I was a DJ for, uh, I believe, I think it's K, K, uh, K, uh, SJO. I don't know. I can't even remember in, uh, San Jose. Okay. I interviewed for a morning giggle girl position because back then women couldn't talk. We could only giggle. We could only be the laughing giggle girl. So I thought, all right, I'll just uh, do that. Any any job that I can talk is uh, what I would take. So I went there, and they took me about 30 miles to Gilroy. It was this time, uh, you know, of the year. And they took me to the Gilroy Garlic Festival. Now, it's very fun, and it's peaceful, and it's a day out in the summer heat. It's a day out for everybody to go out and schwitz and eat garlic. The whole town smells like garlic. It's a fun thing. And what do they do? They raise money for freaking charity. That's what the Gilroy Garlic Festival is all about. So, of course, some 19-year-old white supremacist decides, hey, what a good excuse to get dressed up in military gear and go shoot a six-year-old and injure, you know, 11 other people. How freaking sick. So the constant shootings in this country, while they bring us together, only bring us together for like that. You send your thoughts and prayers on Twitter and you're done with it. Move on. Nothing to see here. At a certain point, we're going to have to stop like naming shooting incidences by location and just start giving them a number. And please, for God's sake, for dear God's sake, do not use Roman numerals because I, uh, I check out after like uh, 50. Do you know what I mean? So where is the next one going to be? We don't know, but for sure it will be soon. It will be soon. So thoughts and prayers, everybody. Thoughts and prayers. Oh! Oh. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And then Donald Trump, he he took like five seconds out of his busy, you know, opposable thumb tweeting day. This is what he uses his opposable thumb for. Okay, it's what separates us from monkeys, from apes. The posable thumb. He uses his to tweet. Twitler is what we call him. And uh, so he took a second. He sent his thoughts and prayers. And then he started trashing uh, another uh, black congressman, a brilliant black congressman, Elijah Cummings, and started trashing the entire city of Detroit. Today is my television debut. I feel like Oprah, who started in Baltimore. I'm not in the mood to hear anybody trash Baltimore. But you want to know the reason why Baltimore is such a mess? Baltimore is such a mess because they switched from a Democratic uh, mayor uh, to uh, and, and a Democratic. Uh, Martin O'Malley did a great job in Baltimore. 
a great job. They made massive investments in Baltimore. Things were cool in Baltimore. Things were going good in Baltimore. And then they switched. They switched parties. They went over to the GOP. So, I, I, you know, I don't even know what his problem is, but I will tell you this. It's the red states that are the poorest states. If you think that the GOP is the party of the, uh, you know, wealthy elite, no, they're the beneficiaries. But the people who actually suffer at the hands of the GOP, you live in red states. Oh, yeah, you do. I mean, you, you go on any list of, like, the worst places to live, and you're going to see, like, uh, woo, West Virginia, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, do you know what I'm saying? Are you going to see like uh, the, the, these horrible, uh, you know, play, poorest people, average incomes like $40,000 a year? Always because the GOP transfer the money from you who pay taxes to their wealthy donors. It is a swamp. It is a giant. It's not even a swamp. It's an entire ecosystem. OK, now, my listeners, people who know me for years and years, they know this. They totally get this. If you're new to this, you're going to figure this out, that it is a giant bathtub with no drain. That is what the GOP is. It's a mucky, gross, disgusting, oozy, pussy, gravy sore of a necrotic party that, that doesn't really exist anymore. It's the party of Trump, and Trump is a racist, period, end of story. So it's not that he thinks, oh, well, if I put this racist stuff out, my base, my base, which, by the way, I do speak Arabic little bit so let's speak arabic al-qaeda translated the base that's what al-qaeda means it's the base so that's his part that's that's his people those are his peeps okay the base the al-qaeda and they are terrorists and this kid that just shot up this uh his name is santino isn't that something Santino, it's Sonny. He's got a bad temper. Sonny. Always had a bad temper from, from the time he was a baby. Santino, Santino. Yeah, kid's name is Santino. And he had these Instagram tweets, and he said uh, it, 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 he, was, he was anti-Hispanic. Hmm. He was anti-Latino. Uh, he also uh, hated Jesus. Just saying. Uh, but he actually had an Instagram account, and in his post he said, uh, Read might is right by Ragnar Redbeard. Okay, what the hell is that? Um, so that is a book that was published in the late 1800s, which has been described as a white supremacist text that promotes anarchy, vilifies Christianity, and calls Jesus the true prince of evil. The natural order, according to the book, is a world at war in which the strong must vanquish the weak and white men, yes, white men must rule over those of color. I'm shocked, I tell you, I'm shocked. Hey, let's alert the media. Oh, wait, we are the media. Yes, we are. All right, so a lot has happened. A lot has happened over this weekend. Okay, we left off on Friday uh, before our national television debut, but we left off on Friday with the Supreme Court late after the show, making a decision that the Sierra Club that sued Donald Trump over the wall money, uh, uh, that uh, they didn't have standing in the court to bring the case. So in the meantime, I mean, no decision has been made on whether or not the Constitution is the Constitution, which is just bizarre world. I mean, obviously, the Constitution, Article 1 of the Constitution gives sole power to appropriate money, to spend money to Congress. Article 1, it's the most, uh, it's the first thing on the top of the, uh, you know, founding father's mind. Article 1. So the Supreme Court decided that Pending another uh, uh, appeal in a lower court, they'll let him go spend a couple of billion dollars, move it from military housing, move it from, uh, you know, military uh, cybersecurity, and let him, you know, start spending money for his stupid wall. Trust me, this is not the end. The Constitution must hold. The Constitution clearly says the president cannot move money around. The president cannot spend a red cent. So unless we're willing to say, hey, hey, <laughs> We're done. We're cooked as a country. We now have a dictator, an authoritarian, who, by the way, is uh, racist. We're not done with that. But that's where we left off on Friday. Go to RandyRoads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.